starting any exercise program, always get cleared by primary care doctor. Hey there, Jed Coburn is here with the Exercise Physiology Show. I talk about physiology of the mind, physiology of the body, and the physiology of the spirit. Today's episode is it's right in the title: the importance of community. Right, the importance of community. Um, who am I? I'm an exercise physiologist. I am a coach. I am a person overall who puts people first, right? Who puts your needs first, but not in the needs of myself first, right? Good morning, Esther. Right on. <clears throat> uh, this is coming to you via Periscope here. I. Um, then upload it to YouTube and I upload it to Facebook and everywhere else that a person may want to see it. So, you know, consider liking, commenting, and sharing wherever you see this if you find value, right? Um, again, the importance of community. So, community, what does that mean to most people? What does that mean to you? Well, to me, it means a few things. It means support. It means together or coming together. <clears throat> it means complete, right? And by complete, I mean just the wholeness, right? One person is not greater than the whole, okay? <clears throat> it's when your lows... When you are low, the community is there for you. Family atmosphere, exactly, exactly, Esther. <clears throat> it is, it comes down to the family atmosphere. It means, it means family, community can mean family. Um, how do you find community? How do you know you're there? Um, to some, right, community can mean spirit, right? Okay, you don't have to believe in God, but I do. Okay, and uh, when you know the Holy Spirit is there, is when you have that community. Is when you have that sense of whole and peace. That is a big deal. Feeling loved, exactly. It's one hundred percent right. <clears throat> it's when you're feeling loved. Um. It's when the moment you can just feel it. It's when you just sit there and you're like, whoa, is this really happening? That is a sense of community. Now, where do you find these things, right? Where do you find... An obvious one is church. You don't have to go to church to find this. You don't have to go to any church. You can just however you want to believe, but we go to church. My family goes to church. Um, but you can find this at a gym, right? Holy moly. You ever thought of that? You can find it at a gym. When you feel you're like, right, when you feel like you're at home, yeah. That's a big deal. That's exactly it. When you feel like you're at home, that's when you feel like you're at a sense of community, yeah. Um, you can find this at a community center. I know the name community isn't uh, is in it, but um, you can find that at a community center. <clears throat> you can find it sometimes even you know at your work. Sometimes your work can feel like a good community. Um, sometimes if you're a volunteer, like I'm a volunteer firefighter, um, I kind of feel like the you know my fellow firefighters we have a sense of community I feel really at home when we're at the fire department or we call you know firehouse that's why it's a house right you can call your community whatever you want and it can be wherever you want 
it can also be online, right? The internet has created your circle of friends. Yeah, you got it, Esther. Um, it can also be online because the internet has created a culture in itself of community, right? Um, Esther would back me up on this one, I would say tenfold, um, and Kathy and Mary and Lynn and uh, Robin and I mean everybody who is in YGT Fitness, they would back me on this saying, you can have a sense of community online because you feel loved, you feel basically just that, right? I mean, you feel welcome, you feel everything, right? Absolutely, yeah, you've got it, us. Um, it is, it is, you feel all of these things. You can be alone in today's world physically, but the sense of community, you don't have to be alone anymore. You can be with people and not not feel alone in today's world. So I encourage you today to join a community. That join isn't like, I'm going to join this up, but like seek out, right? Ask for, ask yourself, what community do I want to be a part of? Because then I think you'll find the self-worth, your self-worth will go up. <clears throat> Amen. Be surrounded by right like-minded people. Yeah, like-minded individuals is uh, kind of an overused word, an overused phrase. But, um, but yeah, surround yourself with people who you want to be like or who you are. Right? Um, as far as how to go about this, well, I know of one, YGT Fitness, check it out, jetcoverness.com forward slash YGT Fitness, and bring it to the coaching page, coaching doesn't have to be me telling you what to do, coaching can be you bringing your ideas to the table, and we can talk about what that looks like, I'm not above any of this, I'm not above anybody's ideas. I'm just a, what I would consider a, a sounding board. Let's talk about it. Let's figure out what works for you. And if you've tried stuff in the past, we'll figure out um, a list of what doesn't work for you. And that's okay. That's just more ammo in the arsenal for let's figure out what does work. Right? So there it is. Give it a shot. JedCobernis.com forward slash YGT Fitness. Um, let's, let's figure out what works for you. As always, if you're willing to change from the neck up, you will change from the neck down. I believe in you. And now is your turn to believe in you. Bye.